Stanley, originally from West Michigan, is getting an answer to the question that they've been asking over eight decades. Yeah, News Ace Megan Bunchman joins us now in studio with more of this fascinating story, Megan. Brian Sue, well, many remember December 7th, 1941, as the day of the Pearl Harbor attacks. Harry Zeese's mother knew that day specifically as the day she lost her brother. Now, Raymond Devere Boynton was one of 388 sailors whose remains were unaccounted for following the bombing of their ship, the USS Oklahoma. But now, nearly 80 years after that attack, DNA experts and the Navy have identified Boy Boynton's remains as part of the ongoing mission called Operation Oklahoma. That's according to the Navy. To date, only 32 sailors remain unidentified since the project began back in 2015. And while Zizis never met his uncle, he says the extent the Navy went to to bring his and other families closure, well, it's admirable. Pretty sad. It was sad. Yeah, I think anything like that is sad. It's, it's, it's an honor as well, but it's still sad. You know, it's like, uh, it's like me going to the wall in D.C. and seeing all your brothers and stuff on there, same, same thing. Sad, but still respectful. 2,403 people died during those attacks. 19 naval ships were destroyed or damaged, including eight battleships. Coming up at 7 tonight, we'll hear more from Z's and the steps that the U.S. Navy took to bring his family some closure.